All right, so welcome back to another Facebook drop shipping e-commerce video. For this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to list multiple products without having to do much work because the software is probably gonna do like 80% of the work. So right now, we are going to we are going to dive into my computer and I'm gonna show you how to set things up. The software we're gonna be using today is called ZDrop. So, so right now we are in the computer. So what you wanna do when you have a um, ZDrop membership bought and the extension installed on Google, it's gonna pop up in your little extension tabs. Make sure you click it, log into it, and then head over to settings and make sure you have whatever profit margins that you want. You could put this up to 50, 40% works with Facebook. I've been doing 40%, sometimes 50. And then when it says, where it says create multiple listings, make sure you have Facebook Marketplace clicked and then where it says run bulk lister, make sure Facebook Marketplace is clicked. Run monitor, you don't need to do that. Uh, Facebook, so whenever I list, I like to hide from my friends. I'm pretty sure, I think Facebook said this option was gonna disappear soon, but right now it's here. So I have it um, clicked for condition, make sure new availability list says in stock and then quantity, whatever amount that you like to have. I usually have mine at 25. And I think that's basically it. Make sure you scroll all the way down to the bottom and click save. Okay, so you're gonna be using the bulk lister in this tab. So let's pretend you have a bunch of products that you already did research on and you want it to list them. So I'm gonna go ahead and add six products or how much ever I just clicked. Make sure they all load up. So right here where it says bulk list, you want to click bulk list. I usually click this two times because one time, one time uh, it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't like add to the list if you click it once. So I usually click it twice every single time. that all right so once you have all your listings that you're going to list onto facebook marketplace you want to go ahead and just close them out and then head over to z drop again and click on the bulk and you see that all the products that I just added to the bulk list are now in the bulk list here. You want to you want to select all and then run bulk list there. And now I'm not going to be doing anything and all this is it's just going to add everything itself. Uh, if you do this, I recommend not going over a minimum or a maximum of 25 listings because uh, sometimes they'll mess up and it sometimes takes a while to like load. See like it's it's like taking forever to load in all the pictures but yeah it's a lazy way to do it if you don't really want to sit here and click copy and paste data if you do copy and paste data it's faster than the bulk lister but bulk lister does everything for you and you don't have to really touch anything so yeah i'm gonna get to you whenever this is done uploading all right so the bulk lister is now done so the next thing that you need to do oh yeah so you can add variants um i don't really list things on amazon that have variants like this i usually list it if it's just one product in the listing uh so i'm gonna ignore that i think oh yeah okay so uh basically now you want to check the um description and stuff because sometimes the bulk lister will copy different things and make sure you remove stuff like like uh, what Amazon has about like customer service and stuff and make sure you edit your titles and that's basically it so like if I was listing this and I didn't want them to know the brand name I would go here 
delete the brand name, put in whatever category it is. I think it's brooms, mops and brooms. And you do it for the rest of it. That's basically it. The software would, would do like 80% of the work and you get the 20% of the work. You got to edit the um, title, the description, and uh, put in what category it is. So by the way, this only works for Facebook Marketplace, like personal. For shops, there's a different different way you got to do it. I'm probably going to teach you how to do that in a different video. But I think that's basically it for this video. So uh, if you made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. Uh, if you learned anything new or if I showed you something new about Z-Drop that you've never knew about, do me a favor and like the video. If you're new here, subscribe. I make videos about online business, e-commerce. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.